Hi, this is Lamb of the Kipper System. There are these tensions within us, these things that we see, that we have an understanding of, that no one around us seems to. Well, not no one. Very few. Not nearly enough. <sighs> things about how the typical and accepted way of human life is 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 harmful is unhealthy abusive toxic painful whatever you want to call it These societies, I, I, I don't, I don't feel like I can properly explain it. I don't feel like I can put it into words in a way that will work. But I'm going to try. Human, human societies <sighs> built on this. This structure built on ownership and possession, which is the common human's way of exercising authority in their own life, which is a sort of agreement about control. If someone has authority over something, then they have control over that. What is control? Control is decisions being carried out sort of ideally, entirely. If someone has complete control, then every decision that they make is carried out perfectly. But control is, is not a real thing. No, no, no decision is ever carried out perfectly or completely. And Decisions only get carried out through cooperation. Through agreement with the decision, even within your own body. And the decision doesn't even come from one specific place. It doesn't come from one particular being. and it isn't carried out by one particular being. It's just an idea, this, this, this shape of something put together by after images of things that have been encountered before. And 
cooperatively worked at, whether through the body or through a company, through a team. The idea is spread and work is done to try and approach the idea. And once once whatever part of the world has been worked at sufficiently to make it resemble the idea close enough, then the decision is considered carried out and done. Control, as an idea, is just a measure of how well this process is done. It's not a real thing. It's, it's a judgment. It's like, it's like, intelligence or, or beauty or appeal it's 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 a judgment it's an evaluation but authority there's an insecurity that often comes up in humans where they want to have complete control they, they, they try, they, they sort of grasp at control. And yes, if, if all of your decisions were carried out perfectly, you would feel a lot more safe and you'd probably be able to do a lot of fun things. But this never happens. The desire for control can never be satisfied. Authority is when someone establishes through intimidation, through manipulation, through deception, an agreement where they have, where their decisions are the most important decisions. That is a, a externalization of this grasping desire for control. And so their decisions become commands and their commands become sacred. In the past, it was through the divine right of kings. And other things. These days, it's through the sort of collective vague untouchability of the, the, the roles in society that already exist. The boss, the mayor, the president. And these, these are not just on the, not just built upon the respect for society or, or the unquestioned, the, the sort of feeling of unquestionability of society, but these are these are themselves built on other systems of authority. They're built on systems of possession, economy, which is a system of possession, and possession, which is the kind of authority that is commonly practiced 
by every human. It is another externalization of this interior desire for control, desire for one's decisions to be carried out without uncertainty. Or ambiguity. Possession is how one possession is just a, a it's a position of authority just like a king has authority over their subjects a, a possessor has authority over their possessee their decisions get to be made I, I guess an, an owner an owner has authority over their property in the same way that a king has authority over their subjects. Their decisions become commands, and their commands become sacred. They're justified by way of being the owner. And this is, this is, this, this way in which humans possess others in their life, which you're no longer usually allowed to possess other humans, but objects and non-human creatures can be possessed. That is widely accepted. They can be owned. And so this way that, that the average human plays out their internal desire for control through authority through through possession that is how authority shows up in sort of the, the common human's life this also is one of the systems which support the the humans who have authority over other humans the humans who are still allowed through the societal roles of, of bosses or uh, political positions uh, government positions they are those are humans who have authority over other humans and whose authority is seen as justified and their their those positions in society are supported through this system of possession that the average human engages in that is incredibly normalized that economies and, and everything is, is based off of. And you, the boss as a position exists because the economy exists. Because, because there is this level of humanity where they have, humans have decided that they can possess others, certain others, and certain others get moved in or out of regulation depending on the government and the attitudes of the time. And they can decide who gets to possess them. They can trade ownership of those others to another for ownership of something else that they deem worthy, which in these days is usually in the form of money. Which is just, which only exists to facilitate this system of possession of ownership.
decision is not a trivial thing. A decision is something that has to do with one's heart. With one's feelings, their being, their their soul, so to speak. It has to do with the, the path of, of one's life and one's relationship with the world around them and to to override another's decisions even if it is done for some kind of greater good, which I'm not even sure if it, if it can be really done for some kind of greater good like that. But even in that case, It is, it is harmful to the heart of that being, to the soul of them, which is something that exists in everything, even objects, though a very different form in objects than in creatures. But If you, if you disagree, you know, those, that's our models. Those are your models. You don't need to agree with us, but please just consider our words. Especially in the case of creatures, which are by nature actively engaging in, in decision making nearly all the time. To override their decisions with your own is to bring great harm to them and to sort of unilaterally keep them in such a position where you are by default your decisions override theirs is a state of constant harm and suffering. Even as there might be relatively, there might be pleasures or, or relatively happy days, there is always lurking that, that harm, that fundamental basic disrespect for one's own heart, their decisions, their, their right to their own path in life.
and not just that this whole matter of possession is often harmful, especially when applied to creatures, but that it it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't lead to more control. Humans' lives are still incredibly chaotic, in some ways more chaotic than they've ever been. Still incredibly unpredictable, uncertain, and, amb and ambiguous. This system of possession and all of their means of, of grabbing at control are, are coping mechanisms. There are ways to temporarily soothe these harsh feelings so that, so that we don't have to deal with them rather than facing them and feeling them within yourself. It does not, it does not lead to any lasting healing or betterment of the situation of being uncomfortable with uncertainty, of feeling a lack of control and feeling pain at that lack of control. In the long term, it it only exacerbates the problem.
And on top of all that, something that is perhaps less widespread, but that we have definitely experienced in our culture growing up in a very Christian area of rural Florida is this sort of complete shutout of talking about your real feelings. A wash over everything insisting that everything's okay that you know no one has any real problems and that we certainly shouldn't share our problems with each other or talk about them in any way. But those things are for private dark corridors. Never to see the light of day. And even joys and positive feelings are to be expressed in sort of polite, expected, mild ways. If they are to be expressed at all. And we really feel like the lifeblood of, of relationships, of cultures, of society, so much of what has allowed humans to, to do any of the wonderful or terrible things that they do The best well a lot of a lot of good a lot of good comes from sharing your feelings expressing yourself expressing your inner feelings talking about them communicating that is a privilege that humans are able to do to a degree that not many other creatures at all are able to do. And it can lead to so many wonderful things. And it can it is it is vital for having healthy relationships of of any considerable level of, of intimacy. Uh, you know, from, from friendships to to family relationships to romantic relationships, it's it's vital for those. But it is well, feelings are are unstable. They're unpredictable. They're messy, and they require you to. Be present and not dissociate from your own feelings and and your own past and, and personhood and a lot of those things are, are just uncomfortable. They're just uncomfortable. 
in, in the cultures that we grew up in. And so expressing feelings is sort of quietly left by the wayside in favor of things like small talk and speaking about more what would be called surface level things. I'm sure that we could go on. There are definitely a lot more feelings that we have like this that, that feel like they are almost bursting out of our chest that we feel like we need some outlet for. We, we want to show these feelings in our artworks, but those take a lot of time. They take a lot more time than just straight up talking to camera about it. So today was one of those particularly chest bursty days that we felt like we just had to get something out there about these feelings right now. But we're actually late for the dinner. Um, so I'm going to leave this here for now.